friends let us discuss a question which was asked in 2018 for civil paper in the forum session and this is a memory based question and the question says a rapid sand filter treats 99 mld of water that means it's giving us discharge of water that means q it is equal to 99 mld then he says 5% of the water is required for backwashing so 5% required for backwashing then he says the rate of filtration is 6 meters per hour rate of filtration it is 6 meters per hour and then he says the width of the filter the width of each filter is limited to 5.2 meters so he is restricting the width v is equals to 5.2 meter then he says length to width ratio is 1.35 L by B it is equal to 1.35. Then he says an extra filter has to be provided in case of any back breakdown. So he's saying that for safety purpose we have to provide an extra filter. Then he's asking the total number of filters required are and the options are option A is 19, option B 20, option C 21, and option D 22. So let us discuss this question. So he says 99. MLD is the treated water out of which 5% is the backwash water. So that means additional amount of 5% is required for backwashing. So our effective discharge will be 99 MLD plus extra of 5%. So this is equal to 103.95 MLD. So let us convert this MLD into meter cubes. 95 into 10 to the power 6 this is in liters into 10 to the power minus 3 this becomes your meter cubes so here it is meter cubes and he's saying meter cubes per day let us convert the days into hours because the rate of filtration which is given it is in per hour so divided by 24 so our q effective discharge the effective discharge it is equal to 4331.25 meter cubes per hour. So we have the discharge and we have the rate of filtration. If we have the rate of discharge and if we have the rate of filtration, we can easily calculate what is the total area which is required. Before going into total area, let us see over here. He's saying that L by B it is equal to 1.35. And he's saying that the width of each filter is limited to 5.2. So if the width is limited to 5.2, that means L will be equal to 1.35 into 5.2. So L comes out to be 7.02 meters. So we have length and we have the width of one filter. That means, that means area of one filter area of one filter it is equal to 7.02 into 5.2 so this value is equal to 36.50 meters this is area of one unit now let us come back he's asking us what is the number of filters which is required now let us check what is the total area so for total area total area it is equal to Q effective divided by the rate of filtration ROF. So, which is equal to 4331.25 divided by ROF is 6 units. So, it will be, so the area comes out to be 721 meter square the total area is 721 meter square now we have the total area and we have area of one filter so easily we can calculate what is the number of filters number of filters it is equal to 721 total area divided by area of one filter is 36.50 so this value is equals to 19.75 that means approximately equal to 20 filters. But he says in the question that we require one extra filter in case of any breakdown. That means these are your operational filter and there will be one more filter which will be on standby. This will be your 
standby filter. So total number of filters which will be provided it will be equal to n will be equal to 21. So number of filters required will be 21. So this particular question is a memory based question and in case if you have any doubt in the data in the question or any query in the solution kindly contact us on this particular number which is displayed on the board. Thank you.